Hello. Oh yeah, uh, one thing too is uh, a lot of you viewers have been kind of wondering what um, like the overall office slash studio setup kind of looks like. Uh, and uh, it's pretty much this. Kind of put up some decor and whatnot. Those are those where we used to shoot everything. There's Jonesy. But yeah, this is where I spend most of my day. Okay. Hey, how's it going everyone? Dave here from Dash Vapes and welcome back to yet another video. As you could probably tell from uh, the B-roll from the intro of this video, it has gotten quite cold here at Dash Vapes HQ. Uh, the joys of Canadian winters are upon us. Oh my god. Oh my god, he on X Games mode. But being that it's kind of a uh, tradition with this channel, uh, I think it's a good time to talk about some winter vaping tips. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Uh, haven't we done this video already? Um, yes, yes we have. However, with YouTube pretty much killing where we stand in the algorithm, uh, our previous videos essentially lost in the realm of YouTube. Uh, so here's an updated list. So I think this is an important video to do because there are important things to know when the temperatures drop uh, that definitely get overlooked. But before we dive into the meat and potatoes of this video, uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and hit the little bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Now, first and foremost, uh, the temperature drop will have the biggest impact on your e-liquid. E-liquid reacts to temperature changes, and when it gets cold, it actually becomes quite viscous. Here's an example. The tank on my left has been sitting at room temperature, and the tank on my right has been sitting in my car for about 20 minutes. As you can see, the colder liquid moves much slower than the other. Now the reason this plays such a big impact on your vape is because the thicker liquid will have a harder time wicking in your coil, thus raising your chances for a dry hit. So if you're out and about with your vape in a colder climate, I'd say one thing that you should do is kind of put it in an inner pocket where it can keep warm. Another thing to note when it comes to temperature changes like this is that it can actually cause your tank or pod to leak as well. The fluctuation in temperature actually alters the pressure within your tank, thus causing it to leak slightly. Where you'd probably notice this the most is if you come in from the cold outside air into a heated room, you might notice that your tank or pod has leaked a little bit. Again, keeping this on an inner pocket will help minimize these risks. Now, your e-liquid isn't the only thing that gets affected by the cold. Uh, your batteries will also react to colder temperatures as well. Just like Leafs and Habs fans, uh, batteries and cold temperatures never really got a long. Uh, also, um, let's go Leafs. If you let your device get cold, you might start noticing significantly reduced battery life. Again, this doesn't only apply to vapes, you may start noticing the same thing with your phone. So again, keeping this in a pocket that's close to you where your body heat can warm it up is probably the best idea here. Now, if you're a minty or menthol e-liquid vapor, um, one thing you're definitely gonna notice is that in the winter months, it's definitely gonna feel a whole lot colder. I like mint flavors just as much as the next person, but for me personally, I feel find that in the colder months like we're experiencing right now, it's almost a little bit too much for me personally, but just as a heads up, your minty and menthol leaf flavors are going to feel much, much colder. And the last tip in this video is going to be switching out your drip tips from metal to plastic. Now, if you're already vaping on a plastic drip tip or mouthpiece, you don't really need to worry about any of this. However, a few tanks do come with metal drip tips. As nice as they are, uh, they might not make for the best uh, winter setup. Just like licking a cold metal pole, a metal drip tip has the potential to stick to your lips or tongue, causing quite an uncomfortable experience. Luckily, drip tips are extremely easy to swap out and they're extremely easy to find. So if you are currently using a metal drip tip, uh, I definitely recommend switching it out for a plastic one. And that pretty much wraps up all of our winter vaping tips. Now, were there any tips that I missed? If so, leave them in a comment in the comment section down below and I'll pin all of the best ones. Now, if you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button down below and hit subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. As always, I'm Dave from Dash Vapes and I'll see you in the next video.